Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Filari Stirit. Today we're going to look at English from one less, our lesson, lesson four. Our topic will be on writing and the subtopic will be looking at punctuation mark. And so as a, as a learner, I expect that by the end of the lesson we'll be able to define a punctuation and use the punctuations correctly in sentences and so we'll begin by defining what's a punctuation mark and we'll say a punctuation mark is a system of marks used in written work uh, when people talk or when speakers are always addressing the audience they make pause, pauses in between their communication so as to take a breath and when they take a breath they take a breath this is to drive or to convey the message being communicated to the audience. And so in written work, the pauses are, are the, the pauses are always indicated by the punctuation marks. And can we can have a look at the punctuation marks and the different types of punctuation mark. As from the written work, we can see capital letters, full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, a comma, apostrophe, Quotation mark, a semicolon, a colon, a hyphen, a dash, bracket of parentheses. Those are the types of punctuation marks that are used in written work. And we'll begin with a capital letter. When do we use a capital letter in a written work? And we'll say the different uses of a capital letter include when we begin a sentence. Always begin every sentence with a capital letter. Example, she went to play. John is running, Mary is reading. Any sentence must begin with a capital letter. And then ca capital letter are also used to begin a direct speech. A direct speech is when the speaker is communicating, maybe from the first person point of view to the second person. Example, where are you going, Mary asked. That's a direct question. A capital letter is also used when beginning or when they are used to begin proper nouns and you can say proper nouns are names of places titles or people example of proper nouns uh, example of proper nouns when they are used to name people jacob christine titles we have the pal romeo and juliet countries we have the names of countries such as kenya rwanda uganda tanzania uh, capital letters are also used to name days of the week and months example days of the week we have monday tuesday wednesday uh, capital letters are also used with abbreviations, example, KBC, maybe to mean Kenya Broadcasting Company. We can also be used to name, they are also used with abbreviations such as TSC, KCB, and such. Next, we're going to you look at full stop. Full stop are used at the end of a declarative sentence, and we say declarative sentence is a sentence that expresses statements or opinions example kenya is an african country so we are going to place our full stop at the end of the sentence another example full stops are used after an indirect question example he asked whether we are willing to go another one full stop are used after an abbreviation or an initial example u n u you place the full stop then n another one when we want also to give names of people we may be with long no names, we are going to abbreviate them. For example, T, full stop, then P, Kibandi. We are going to look at question mark. You can also see the mark over there. It is used at the end of an interrogative sentence. What did we say about interrogative sentences? This question, interrogative sentences are those sentences that are tend to ask questions. Either direct or indirect question. Example, where is Kamau? You place a question mark at the end of the sentence. We're going to look at the comma. Commas are used to separate items in a series. For example, he lost his phone, reading glasses, wallet, and passport. In between the items listed, we are going to place our comma. Uh -huh, we're also going to use a comma after each item in a sentence. Example, she found a pen, comma, a book, comma, a Bible, and a nail cutter. Another one, we are going to use a comma to separate an introductory word or a phrase from the rest of the sentence. Our introductory, for example, we have it, yes, 
comma Mary is expected tonight. Well, another use of a comma is used to set off the name of people who are being addressed or spoken to directly. Example, Kiarie, comma, Nduta, comma, Onyango and Busolo will start off. Commas are also used to set off an apostative. You can say an apostative is a word or a group of words that renames something. They modify nouns. <coughs> Example of an apostative, uh, the assumption that it, it, that it will the assumption comma that will re, that will rain comma is unfounded. Another one, the rumor comma that she was ill comma was malicious. Commas are also used to set off a direct quotation. Example, Mary Post comma Why can't the council cater for the basic services yet we pay taxes? In that sentence, you can see the uses of a comma in a positive. Another one, comma is used to separate parts of dates. Commas are also used to separate parts of location. For example, he lives in Butula, Busia. Those are parts of location. And in the date, we can see June 21st, comma, 2006. Exclamation mark. They are always used at the end of an exclamatory sentence or a strong interjection to express surprise, joy, anger, or even shock. Examples include hura. At the end of the word hura, which is an exclamation mark, maybe to to express surprise or joy. Especially the word hura I always used to express joy. We are going to put our exclamation mark at the end of it before a full stop. What a terrible accident. It is used to express shock. So we're going to place our exclamation mark at the end of it. Thank you for the lesson. We're going to look at the assignment. You expect you as a student to rewrite the assignment. Put in the full stops and capital letters where necessary. And our reference book was Secondary English Students Book 1, published by the Kenya Literature Bureau. For this and much more, you can contact us on our SMS line as shown. On your YouTube, you can get us at Elimu TV. On Facebook, you can still get us at Elimu TV. Whereas on Twitter, you can follow us at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you for the lesson.